Nano research can lead to new products, jobs and sometimes whole industries. Ten years after the nano discovery of general magneto resistance, which allows hard drives to store ever-increasing amounts of data, the technology became core to how iPods work. This discovery won the 2007 Nobel Prize in Physics. In the last 10 years, the landscape has completely changed. And I think the Irish government has recognized the potential of technology, science and technology, to create wealth. And um, it's been the case in other uh, industrialized countries, and Ireland doesn't want to be left behind in that regard. Nanotechnology is right at the forefront of, of world-class world research. So the work that's done in an institute like CRAN helps to anchor a lot of multinationals uh, and also indigenous small Irish companies. There's a lot of, lot of um, manufacturing that needs highly skilled uh, workers as well as high technology kind of platforms and be able to do the work. So I think that's the next stage. If we can attract the companies in and show them that we have the capability to do the research, we have the capability to do the next step or the, the more advanced steps of any sort of production, well then it gives them incentive to come here because they might be able to get cheap labor and in other countries, but they certainly won't be able to have the same expertise as they would in Ireland. I mean, I think we're actually very well positioned. Um, I mean, we got in relatively early, but I think early on, but I think the issue is we have to focus. You know, you can't do everything. And we have to understand where we have a chance to win and where we, where we probably won't win. It doesn't mean if you don't, if you, re, you can redirect resources and, and look at some other area, but I think it's about critical mass. Um, we've made an investment in specific areas. I think it's important that we don't spread ourselves too thin. We're confident that working with these corporations, we can begin to help them to become more ambitious, to grow the operation in Ireland, and that'll do two things. It'll, it'll create jobs in the R&D space for Irish researchers, but it'll also, quite importantly, consolidate the existing manufacturing jobs. If you look at Irish exports, fully 10% of Irish exports are actually nano-enabled. Uh, it's been reported that uh, nanotechnology will be a trillion dollar industry, so it would be nice for Ireland to get its piece of this trillion dollars, you know, and it creates a lot of jobs in the economy. Well, nanotechnology is very important to the economy in Ireland. We've got a number of companies such as Intel and Leakslip, or Hewlett Packard and Leakslip, and many others that their core business is uh, developing technologies that will go into products that require nano. These companies have a, a lot of jobs associated with them. And if you look at support services that these companies also need to run, you're looking at between 100,000 and 150,000 jobs in Ireland that rely on nano. But in terms of um, sales and jobs, things that actually directly affect jobs here, you're looking at tens of thousands of jobs are reliant on this, on directly making products which are nanotech. Tens of thousands of jobs depend on that. Economically, I'd put into kind of high value added and kind of medium value added areas. So high value added means things like very advanced integrated circuits, um, you know, electronic devices. It also means the more complex biosystems, uh, you know, everything from drug delivery through to drug preparation, sensor systems and all that sort of stuff. That's quite high tech in a sense. But you shouldn't ignore the kind of standard stuff, whether it be in sun cream or <laughs> things that are seen, maybe you don't think of them as high tech, but even food processing, that can be high tech at times. And even there, which is an important industry for Ireland, of course, maybe there'll be some interesting things come out of nanotech. But the beauty of nanoscience is, is what you learn in nanoscience is hugely transferable. And this is the great and the wondrous, wonderful part of nanoscience. What you learn about computer chips can actually be transferred to, say, like something like drugs. And so my own group also works in looking at polymers that might be useful for helping maybe with, with stents that will go inside your arteries to help blockages and whatnot, or maybe even to help you to deliver drugs or even, even fertilizer to crops. And nanoscience is about discovering the rules for organizing matter. And if you understand those rules, and they're very powerful rules, you're actually able to have impacts across all the sectors that are important to Ireland. Everybody else is doing this. And actually, it's important to think about this because we have to run in our nano research just to stand still because everybody else out there from Singapore to Spain is running as fast as they can. So if we're going to keep up and hence we're going to make our, our economy competitive over the next 10 to, to 30 years, we really have to put a lot of effort into to getting nano 
getting research on nanodone in the labs and getting it out of the labs and into companies in Ireland.